Hey guys, so today's topic is a little tricky. I will say that because I kind of thought long and hard about how to word this without offending anyone, but I'm pretty sure somebody might get offended um, because I'm going to be talking about entitlement. Um, and that topic has just been, uh, I've experienced it outside of health and fitness topics as well, which is what inspired this talk topic. But when I experienced it, when I experienced it recently, um, of course, health and fitness and eating habits and coaching CK is always on the brain for me. Um, it got me thinking, I'm like, well, yeah, I mean, in our culture and breeds entitlement everywhere in all facets of our daily lives. You see it everywhere. And I think when it comes to health and fitness or the state of our health, uh, people in a way, especially recently, are told a message, it's not your fault. It's not your fault that your health is in the state that it's in. And while I completely understand that people are dealt different, a different set of cards, uh, and people have certain genetics that make it harder for them to to create the same health uh, environment as others. I'm not I'm not saying that. I'm saying that people become complacent when they 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 almost feel like. They, they feel entitled to feel that way, like they that it's not their fault, that they can't do anything about it, so why even try? And you need to accept the way that I am. Now, I'm not saying that everybody needs to be like uh, shredded and you know all this stuff. I'm saying I sit on a fine line of being empathetic where I will meet you where you're at. I, I completely believe that everyone deserves empathy of their situation, even how they got there, um, things that they can do to move the needle. You know, like not everybody's the same. Everybody's got different journeys, different starting points. Like I said, different set of cards they are dealt. I, I have a fine line, <laughs> I think I sit on it, of being empathetic and meeting you where you're at and then uh, also on team, like, well, what are you going to do about it? That's the question. Because I feel like a lot of people, like, they, they're in this mindset of, like, well, it's not my fault that these foods are available to me. It's, they're just everywhere. Or it's not my fault that, you know, I, I can't get up and, and work out. Or I can't eat the foods that I want to eat or I know that I want to eat. Everybody can. There, it's just like I said. Sometimes it's harder for others than you know other people. Some people's schedules are different. Some people's you know lifestyles do not facilitate them to make those type of choices that will help their health. So, for me, as a coach, it's my job to bring that to light. So, say you you have a schedule that is no, doing nothing for your health and your quality of life. But you say that you want to have a quality life of, you know, a healthy body. I'm not saying rip like Rambo. I'm just saying a capable, able body that feels good on a daily basis. Well, you have to look at your whole life as a, on a, an entire, you know, spectrum of like, you know, well, what's causing me not to be able to make these choices what's causing me not to make to make these choices and live the life that i say that i want you know it, it it's not that you need someone to feel sorry for you nobody needs that because that's not going to help you get out of the hole that you're in i believe that everyone deserves understanding and empathy and help along the way to to validate yes these things are real reasons to that are that are hardships 
but also someone there to help to say to you, okay, well, what are you going to do about it? Because at the end of the day, it's these people that are validating laziness in a sense or validating excuses, not saying that they're not good excuses. I'm saying that these people that are enabling you to not make better choices and feeding you a message that it is okay and it is normal to do unhealthy choices, that's not going to end well in the long run. You're the one that has to tell yourself, okay, I'm here, I'm assess assessing the situation, I'm, I'm not where I wanna be, and I don't know what my life is gonna look like 10 years from now, but I know what I'm doing now is not going to help that. You have to tell, ask yourself, all right, I'm here, what am I gonna do about it? Because I think, while, when I said I think everybody deserves empathy, I don't think that you should use your excuses as a pass to not do anything. I, I just want to encourage people to, you know, while they may not have intentionally gotten to where they are, like I don't think anybody sets out to be unhealthy and not be able to use their body and not be able to do the things that they love to do. It just happens, a, it's a slow death over decades. That's how this happens. So it's not an intentional thing. I, no one intentionally becomes unhealthy. So you have to decide which the fork in the road when you get there, what am I gonna do about it? Am I gonna keep going down this road or am I gonna get help with you know any way that I can? A person, a buddy to help you, you know, that has been along the journey and, and maybe a little bit further in their health journey. Can they be an encourager for you? Can you hire a coach? Can you, you know, start some kind of program to keep, keep you accountable? You know, it's not that your hand that you were dealt needs to make you complacent and give you an excuse. You just have to think to yourself, what do I want? And if I don't want what I'm at, then I got to figure out how to do something about it because you're the only one at the end of the day that can do something about it. Um, so don't feel entitled to feeling complacent. I guess that's my message because it, it doesn't give you a pass. Being complacent is just putting a pause on your life. And I hope that our messages that we send out into the interwebs and the universe help people understand that they have the power to make a better choice today. It doesn't mean that you have to eat salads and work out every single day of your life. It just means you gotta do certain habits that facilitate a healthy and, and strong body. You know, it doesn't mean you have to be a magazine cover model. That's, that's not health. That's not the picture of health. The picture of health is a person that can actually go outside and play with their kids. They can carry in grocery bags without getting winded. They can go upstairs um, and not be winded. They can, you know, just do everyday living and not worry about it. You know, what, like, what are you going to be like whenever you're 60, 70, 80, you know, we need to be thinking about these things now because what we do now is laying the road for what we can do later. And people don't think that far ahead. They just think that, oh, I'll, I'll always be this young and robust. Well, no, you won't. And what you do now depends on how robust your body is later. And even if you were starting like later in life, like there's never too late to start. You just ask yourself, okay, what am I going to do about it? I'm here. Let's get busy. And that's what I want everybody to get that in their mind. I want everybody to get in that mindset uh, set of I'm about to do the thing. And I'm about to change my own course. I'm not going to let somebody else tell me what I should and should not be doing. I'm going to take matters into my own hands. So, a little hard, harsh, maybe. I don't know. 
but uh, that's, that's where I was at. I was feeling a little feisty. So I'll see y'all again next week. Bye-bye.